What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I've updated you guys on everything going on in my life along with the coffee stand. I feel like I haven't really been able to get my mind off of the stand so I can focus on other things. Like my stress levels have just been through the roof. But I'm going to take you guys to the stand today and show you guys all the updates that have happened. But first, before all that, I want to make a smoothie because it is so hot outside and a smoothie sounds really nice right now. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I already drank like half of this smoothie, but this is one of the best smoothies you, I think that you can make. It tastes just like a chocolate peanut butter shake with banana and it's so good. Really quick, I wanted to talk to you guys about something because, well, if you've been following me for a really long time, I've been on social media for five years and I felt like I just kind of owed you guys like an explanation as to what's going on because I feel like if you've been paying kind of close attention, you've noticed that I haven't really been active on any of my social medias like my YouTube, my Instagram, my OF, and my website. That's not okay. I was talking to Devin about it and he was like, we'll just share, you know, what, what's going on in your head. So I tried to record this video. This is probably the 10th time I even edited a video and uploaded it to YouTube, but I never posted it because I felt like it wasn't the right message I was trying to get across. I'm gonna try this one last time. I have felt so distant from social media lately. Like I feel like I personally do not connect or haven't been for the last six months to a year connecting with social media. I got into social media wanting to become, especially on Instagram, like that was my biggest thing, is I wanted to become an Instagram model. And at the time it was like more of a fitness thing I was getting into. I also loved modeling too. I loved working hard on your body and then being able to show people what's possible and just being proud of yourself. That was literally the whole reason I started it, is to help people and to just show people what's possible and to feel healthy and happy. Probably within the last year, I feel like Instagram has just taken like a hard turn. And I, I feel like an Instagram model doesn't mean the same thing anymore. Like I feel like I go on Instagram and I just like, all the people I used to look up to are literally just like there's no purpose behind what they're posting especially for fem mostly honestly i'm talking about females right now like I, I feel like it's just a place i don't fit in anymore because it was always about fitness and always about modeling for me now i just feel like i like i don't want to be a part of it anymore because a lot of the females doing that just like have no what's what what's a good word without hating on anybody. I just feel like within the last year, I've been trying to keep up with posting the stuff that, you know, like either goes viral or, you know, will get me more likes, which is showing more body. And I just feel like I've been trying to keep up with that rhythm. And I found myself honestly hating taking pictures. I hated OF because I don't post nudes on my OF. I literally just post all of my modeling, all my lingerie and all my bikini pictures and I started hating it because people were, you know, mad that I wasn't doing porn. And then I also, like, on Instagram and stuff, I just feel like I was just trying to keep up with the algorithm and, like, what other women in my genre were posting too. And it just got to the point recently where I was, like, d just done. I just don't care about it anymore at all because it's just not me. So with that being said, that's why I've been distant from everything, from literally everything. Honestly, me just feeling like I, I kind of like lost myself, not that I've done anything bad or I just am lost, you know, with social media realm. And I've been trying to just figure out where I want to go with everything. And I'm just going to be myself and post what I originally wanted to. Like the reasons I started social media is the roots I want to get back to. That's what's going on, you guys. And I also feel like there's there needs to be like some women sticking up for the other women. If you're thinking about doing social media, our society now is just like kind of moralless in a sense. Like a lot of people, a lot of people have amazing morals, but 
Our, like the whole Western society now is falling off track with literally everything. I just feel like I want to be somebody that you can, I guess, look up to. You guys get what I'm trying to say. That's my little spiel for this afternoon. And I apologize that I haven't been posting as much on anything, but mentally I'm just trying to figure it out. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or whatever, comment down below or message me on my Instagram. We're gonna do a quick grocery haul because I've been getting more into all natural and whole foods probably this last year. I feel like I have so many good food options to share with you guys. I just got done going to, I always wanna say whole foods, but it's natural grocers. In my opinion, is a little bit expensive compared to Trader Joe's, but fun fact, I got kicked out of Trader Joe's like two years ago. Um, so I haven't really gone back since then. I am sure they don't remember who I am. They didn't write my name down or anything. So yeah, I just go to natural grocers. So let's do a little grocery haul. Bananas, organic. Simple Mills is literally my favorite brand that I found for snacks and stuff because there's no bad seed oils in this. And then I also got these nut butter, peppers, because Devin loves putting peppers in his big, we call it a big bowl, it's like a chicken and rice bowl. Peanut butter, I got rid of like the Jif or what other brands are out there for peanut butters. I got rid of it, you guys, because it has bad seed oils in it. And I love this one. The only ingredient in it is organic dry roasted peanuts. That's it. Garlic powder. I'm actually gonna have this right now because I just worked out. Plant protein. I like this brand and I'm probably gonna put a scoop of creatine in it. I love these sausages. Avocados. Whipped cream. I do have a sweet tooth, you guys. I put whipped cream on my coffee in the mornings and Coda actually really likes whipped cream too. This is just organic chicken, cheddar cheese that I use. As you guys can see, it's not orange, it's not yellow, it's literally white, it's undyed, which is the way it's supposed to be. So this is raw, mild cheddar cheese. A lot of people will say that dairy makes you break out, but if you're getting raw dairy, it does not make you break out because it doesn't have all that gunk in it that the unorganic stuff would. I do put heavy cream or like an organic cream creamer in my coffee. So this is just a heavy cream, sugar-free, organic syrup. This is for my tacos, like an organic ranch. And then of course we have eggs. It's diet cream soda, but this, let's read the ingredients. Carbonated water, natural flavors, stevia leaf extract. That's it. There's no aspartame. There's no anything crazy. There's three ingredients, which is not bad. So I stock my fridge full with this stuff. I want to show you guys how much Coda likes whipped cream. So I'm going to drink this, you guys, and we need to clean out Gary. It's 75 out right now, and it's going to be 85 to 90 degrees. Fahrenheit this whole entire week. I think it's time to give Gary a good wash inside and out. So I'm gonna put this all the way and then we're gonna get started on my car. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my 2019 Series Gray STI. We've done so much this car over the last few years. I believe it currently makes, it's a little over 800 horsepower but we have it on a slower map right now. It's on E85. 800 horsepower was not ideal for my daily driver. So we have this on, I think it's like a 600 horsepower map, which is still very fast. The outside of it is very dirty. You can see that it's rained a lot, but the weather is gonna be really nice for the next few days. I am so OCD about the inside, you guys. It's not even that bad. I just cleaned it like a week ago, but it still needs, like seats need to be wiped down, vacuumed dusted and just the overall bobby touch on it and then we'll do the outside so let's get to cleaning <laughs>
washing my car in hot weather. It's like 80 degrees out right now. I have to keep the car like wet the whole time so we don't get water spots in the car. As you guys can kind of see, I pulled Gary in. I'm gonna dry the car off. It was so dirty. I hadn't cleaned the wheels and tires for a really long time. Yeah, she's gonna be looking good. I'm gonna clean the interior of Devin's M3. If you guys haven't seen this car before, he also owns an E92 M3. And I actually was driving this car for probably like a month or two, just because there was some small stuff we had to fix on my STI. I just like to give the cars back clean, better than what I took them as, if that makes sense. So this is what the before looks like. It's really not, well, I don't know. Yeah, this one's kind of bad. This is what it looks like. Just needs, you know, a good wash. If I have time, I'll do the outside too, but for now I'm just gonna stick on doing the inside. So I'm just gonna show you guys the before and after. We have to do a little intermission because I got a text. I'm actually having an AC guy come out to my coffee stand. We have an AC unit right now, but it's literally like a dinosaur. I'm pretty sure they put it in in, an, in the 90s. so. It, barely works so I'm just having somebody come and do like a consultation on a new uh, like a mini split unit which would be perfect for my stand super last minute though he's like I'm gonna be there in 20 minutes so I'm on my way to the stand and there's a few more updates that I want to show you guys since we've last been in there so I'm like a hot mess right now but anyways I will see you guys at the stand we just made it to the coffee stand, you guys, and I can't quite remember where we left off the last time. We have a lot of homeless people around this area, and I'm a little worried about my car right now, but, so I'm gonna try to go through this as quickly as I can. So, a couple different things. They replaced this door. It used to swing outwards, and now it swings inwards. A gust of wind would come, and the wind would catch it and bang it across the door, and the hinges, we're all messed up, so we fixed that. We got a new door, which is so nice. All of the flooring is in along with the trim. We have trim, you guys. So this isn't real tile, but it looks like tile. I think it's amazing for the coffee stand. It turned out so good. It's just what I wanted. And if you guys remember last time, this area right here was completely nasty, dirty. It was cement and a mix of wood. They covered it all up and made it look be literally beautiful. It's so nice. So we come down here and we have one of my new fridges that I just purchased. Um, there used to be a table right here that I got off of Amazon. You guys probably remember me putting that together. We need a more refrigerator space, so I got a new refrigerator and all of my stuff will just be going on top of there. Also, we have a new ice machine. This is a nugget ice machine, so if you're into ice at all, even if you're not into ice and you get nugget ice in your coffee, it is literally one of the best things that you can have in your coffee. It's so good. It's like little tiny pebbles of ice. To be completely honest, the last one we had was an under-the-counter ice machine, which was right over there, and it was ancient, and I was buying ice throughout the whole entire winter because our machine was it would not keep up with the load of people we had, which is a good thing, but... I mean, I needed something that would keep up with our busy hours that we had. New Scotsman ice machine. And then, this is the first time that I've seen this. I'm so excited because we got our new countertop. So this is laminate countertop over here. I went with the black. Guys, I even, it literally looks to me like granite. Doesn't, that's insane how nice that is. Before this was like a purpley pink brown countertop now we have a black countertop laminate countertops in the back and then up front is gonna be a granite piece that's black like this so it'll be granite though it'll be super nice and then granite is also going in these window seals we also because this is the only place the ice machine fit the register was over there we have to move the register over here so with that being said we had to move the sink down the sink used to be right here so it's a little bit different than before, not by much. This is literally the first time that I've seen my countertops. I am blown away at how nice this looks. Like, how? How does that look so good? 
I'm so excited. I am so excited. I am hoping to be open in a week and a half. The only things we have to do in here, waiting for that granite piece to come in, which is on Tuesday, and right now it's Friday. Wednesday, we get the new espresso machine, and then next, we just need plumbing, which shouldn't take that long. And then, after that, that's it. So I'm hoping to be open in a week, week and a half, ideally. I could literally be open by next Friday, but I don't wanna like, I don't know, I keep saying stuff like that and then it keeps pushing back further. So I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut and hopefully we can just be open soon. But this is the update, you guys. It looks way more like a coffee stand now. I cannot believe we have this countertop in here. It is so nice. They also painted these uh, gray, which I didn't ask for, but they look really, Really nice. I don't think you guys realize how crazy I have been going these last, like this last month and a half. This place was like my baby. Now it's even more special to me. I'm gonna end this video out here. Leave a comment down below on what you think. I feel like this video is full of a lot of good stuff. Remember to like this video, subscribe and leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.